my name in humble supplication. Oke okay, teman-teman kembali lagi bersama gua di game Genshin Impact Mobile. Seperti biasa gua akan meneruskan quest uh, Arkon quest ya kemarin baru dari si Kiki ya, nyari senjata buatan Adeptus ya. Sekarang kita kayaknya nyari monster setengah Adeptus gitu. Ya kita juga gak tahu ya langsung ke si Kiki aja. Otw. Tuh jauh. <laughs> apa apa lewat sini aja. Sip ke atas. No. Oke. Okay. Keren jatuh. Eh, emang jatuh sih. <laughs> Bentar Kembali ke di, di bubu Oh bubu aja <tuh> Tambah kucing gua bubu Forgive us. We were unable to fulfill our end of the contract. We found no trace of the Coco Goat Adepted Beast Coco of which you speak. <sighs> What a disappointment. Don't worry about it. But I feel very disappointed. Aw, poor Chi Chi. Why does Paimon feel so guilty all of a sudden? <laughs> Coco goat milk is tasty. So tasty. Much better than normal goat milk. Only an adept beast could make such tasty milk. I'm sorry. I have a poor memory. I cannot remember the name of the milk. That's why I wrote it down. Got domba atau kambing? Where did I put it? Ah, here. This is the name. Coca. Huh? I owe you both an apology. I hastily agreed to what appeared to be an equitable agreement with this zombie child, when perhaps I should have undertaken further due diligence. Never mind, Zhongli. You didn't know. As the Leroy proverb goes, all things are random and... Um... So how are you supposed to predict anything? Literally no one could have seen this coming. Excuse me, everyone. Did Chi-Chi say a bad thing? No. Oh. Sorry, but Paimon's gonna leave the job of shattering this poor kiddo's world to you. No, <laughs> Im impossible. Seems Chi Chi took this pretty hard. <laughs> Someone learned a valuable life lesson today, then. Thank you all for huh? looking after my little Chi Chi. Well, Might I ask who? Ah, oh, how rude of me. I'm Baiju, boss of the Boo Boo Pharmacy. Paimon thought Chi Chi was the boss. Turns out it's some wacko who wears medicinal ingredients around his neck. What a sorry state of affairs. This little mascot is even more of a simpleton than Chi Chi. So be tired. Ah, the medicine, the snake is speaking. <laughs> I prefer to stay silent. But faced with strangers, I must speak, lest you mistake me for an escapee from the medicine cabinet, for I am a living, breathing serpent! <laughs> Don't mind Chengsheng. She's a good girl, really. As for you three, communal chaos causing with Chi-Chi aside, what business brings you here? Do you sell everlasting incense in this fine establishment? Mm. Everlasting incense? Why, of course we do. Whew, at last. Things are finally starting to come together. 
Three million mora. Top quality. Guaranteed. Huh? You might as well just rob the golden house. Oh, but the chasing have taken it over for now. Security will be tighter than usual. Hmm. Three million. An innocuous number in and of itself. Though practically speaking, yeah, yeah, it could be a hard sum to come by. It's a crazy number. We'd never be able to make that much more. And as for Mr. Zhang Li, he's around three million short. <laughs> this is correct. What are we gonna do? Is this the part where we go crawling back to child? <laughs> <laughs> Coco goat, Coco. <laughs> my sides hurt. Oh my goodness! I cannot believe you fell for that. Hey, less laughter, more sympathy. I'm almost in tears over here. Ah, uh, thank you. That was the best laugh I've had in a long time. In return, I'm more than happy to sort out this mess you've managed to get yourselves into. Excuse me, sir. Dr. Baiju, isn't it? Truly honored. I'm Child, one of the Fatui Harbingers. Forgive my audacity, but I see a great many opportunities for us to collaborate in the future. If Boo Boo Pharmacy needed a stable supply of, say, coconut milk, the Fatui could help by setting up a robust and speedy distribution network. Hmm. Strange. I knew the Fatui infiltrated businesses with seductive deals, but... So much fuss over coconut milk? Coconut milk. Baiju, quick. Chi Chi wants coconut milk. Santan. Coconut milk. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yes, of course, Chi Chi. Everyone. Anything you want. Thank you, child. I look forward to a successful collaboration in the future. <laughs> I can <laughs> give you a discount on my everlasting incense, too. Let's say 2,990,000 mora. more. Hmm. Two million nine hundred and ninety thousand. Also an innocuous number in and of itself. Though practically speaking, it is a whole ten thousand less than the original sum of three million. Well, now that this is settled, we must head back to Yujing Terrace. Mr. Child, Dr. Baiju, little Miss Chi Chi, see you soon. <laughs> Ah, that lot is an absolute riot. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I laughed so hard. So, you've been eavesdropping, I hope. What have I missed? Yes, Master Child. They spoke of the Qixing taking the Golden House. Well, well, well. Ningguang and her Qixing cronies. What else would they be hiding in the Golden House, if not the Exuvia? I apologize, but I warned you, didn't I? As the old Leo is saying goes, the walls have ears. Hmm. Okay, teleport. Well, as it stands, we've hired helpers, and we've acquired the everlasting incense. The com Ooh, finally! Well, Traveler, have you gained anything from our adventure so far? Odd. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Which is it, I wonder? The questions that such travels raise are ever so complicated. Well, I'll leave you to ruminate over it yourself. As to remuneration for your help, I've decided to treat you to a meal. Oh, ah, yes, don't worry. I will remember to bring the Mora this time. <laughs> Tonight, I shall take you both to an old hole in the wall, praised throughout Lyra. Hole in the wall? As in a cool restaurant? <laughs> Indeed. Let us meet near the harbor at third round knockout. Okay, siap. Traktir makan. May the Lord of Geo protect you and fortune find you. Lapan belas ya. Gak ada lapan belas juga. Setengah sembilan. about the well-being of my retinue during my impromptu absence. Sampai terbang juga. You're here. There's no need to order. I've already done so. Third round knockout is not for lightweights, like those taverns in Mondstadt. Here, the owner does not take such unorthodox orders as fruit juice. I ordered some wine-fermented sweet rice balls for you, if that counts. If it is to your liking, dear customers, I shall continue the tale of Lady Ningguan's Jade Chamber. Besides fine wine, the excellent ambiance is the reason why this place is so well loved. But when I say ambiance, I refer to a different sort from the one the Tevat Travel Guide uses to judge other establishments. As you all know, high above the land of Liu lies a pavilion in the clouds, a palace in the mist. What does it mean to have all-seeing eyes? This, my friends, Lady Ningguan's masterwork that bridges earth and sky. Imagine, the weather is clear, and you gaze down from the deck on the world below. Behold, the glorious sights of Liyue Harbor, stretching out far and wide. <laughs> they say that when Lady Ningguan ponders important affairs, she retreats to her jade chamber with none but her three closest confidants in tow. Why brings she these trusted three to sift through sources, dig through documents, looking for information? Piece by piece, facts and figures paint a picture on the walls of the chamber. But well before the wall is filled, Lady Ningguang's mind is made up. Having made her call, she has every last document shredded, and whoosh, she scatters the shavings out her window. Ah, look at them. How they billow in the wind like a sudden swirling lizard. As the fragments fall, traces of text flicker before the eyes of the merchants of Liyue, like ink stains in white snow. The saying goes, the rarest treasures in the land are the words brought by the paper snow. For the words of the Tianquan have the power to move mountains and all throughout the land know it.
These are but scraps of paper, and yet they guide Lady Ningguang's hand. Such is their value. Merely grasping one or two of them will surely gift you a fragment of her wisdom. Enough to stay a step or two ahead of your peers. Tiantuan Ningguang. Feels like we're hearing this name a lot. Lily locals talk about her. The Fatui hate her. She's most likely the one who hid the Exuvia. And we saw her at the Rite of Dissension. Huh. Paimon wonders what sort of person she is. At last I have found you. You who returned from Juayun Karst. Who's there? Wait. I am not with the Millilith. Nor am I here to claim your bounty. However, I am an emissary of the Liyue Achising. My name is Ganyu, secretary at the Yuahai Pavilion, and I have come specifically to meet you. Well, in concrete terms, I am a corporate secretary for the Achising. At the moment, I am serving as Lady Ningguang's special emissary. Ningguang sent you? We were literally just talking about her. My apologies, you who have returned from Jiayun Karst. I am duty-bound and cannot extend my courtesy to you in full. But I have with me a letter from Lady Ningguang. She extends a formal invitation to you in her capacity as Tianquan. She invites you to her palace in the sky. An official invitation? Lady Ningguang said this. Invite her to come here. I wish to meet her. At the Jade Chamber, together we shall sniff every one of these entwining dark threads. Oh, what about the pickpockets? And with that, the emissary who called herself Ganyu just disappeared. But we've received an invitation from the Liu at Chising. Paimon still can't believe it! We'll be meeting people that have way more money than Paimon could ever count! We should be on our best manners. <laughs> An invitation to visit the Jade Chamber is a rare honor indeed. You'd best be on your way now. But don't forget about the rite of parting. Once you've finished at the Jade Chamber, meet me at Dihua Marsh. Don't worry, we won't forget. Dihua Marsh. We'll see you there. Okay, okay. Listen, let me tell you how it is. Oh, this is a clear fire hazard right here. Ain't another handsome stone today? Bintar. Ah, biscuit. Abis ya. Eh diundang tadi kan. Showy. Ya karena piungun. Kayaknya ini deh. Nyoba ini aja dulu ya. Kita ini istana istananya di mana? Sini dulu ya, telepon dulu. Bersambung sih tulis saya bersambung. Coba ya.
ya bersambung deh oke mungkin gitu aja untuk video kali ini jangan lupa kalian like share dan subscribe channel ini biar makin berkembang ya see you next video ya nanti gua bikin video quest dunia aja gitu ya oke terima kasih wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh kalian yang belum subscribe subscribe channel ini ya gue yuk, karena yuk. subscribe itu gratis ya gratis lo ini gratis lo anjir gua bikin video gratis buat kalian lo ya subscribe dong subscribe anjir jangan nonton aja oke terima kasih yang udah nonton wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh